Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4, the new order as the Siberian Black Army. Let us continue on from the last let off. So these guys over here are currently exploding. The Moscow Autonomy, the German Sovereign Zone, all these other little people as well. You're kind of breaking apart. Poland now exists, fighting against the general government. A Warsaw Uprising. Probably will not be surviving too, too much. We'll see who kind of ends up coming out on top. Of course, Burgundy is just absolutely destroying the French state. There is no surprises there whatsoever. But I'm, like, I'm looking at this front, and it looks like you're pretty... Not that you're pretty weak. I, sh I shouldn't put it that way. And you'll be ready in one more day. How much manpower are we going to be getting from this? Hopefully a decent amount. We did bypass the focus. Does it, does it automatically apply, though? I'm not too sure. Um... After that, we do want to, because we finished this, let's do the Trial of King Rook. See what he has to say for himself. Formation of the African Shield, so that probably is going to lead to the uh, war in South Africa. I can't see a way that the AI could possibly win that. 39,000 manpower, let's go. Immediately train up some aircraft. Um, crank your numbers up to... Apparently, you know what? 200 is fine. And then you're going to fly over here for some close air support. Again, do you have any aircraft? No. So we should have 100%... Yeah, you're in the right area. 100% naval or air support when the time comes. The Serbs have risen up. Carl uh, Donitz has seized Crimea. All of that is completely okay. And you guys keep exploding. I'm here for it. Let's go for... I mean, we have enough of everything. But now that we actually have 7,000 manpower, or 7,000 um, rifles and 41,000 manpower, which I think might still be increasing. I think this is a perfectly fine time to, let's say, train up six more divisions here. Again, you need to go do something else as well. Go build up an intel network in the uh, Revolutionary Council. If we double their numbers, we'll have absolutely no problems deploying these troops. I think I am just going to deploy them exactly when that's um, 20%. Even though they're going to be taking some negative modifiers, I think just the sheer number of men matters significantly more than their actual skill. South Africa is now at war with the Boers, which leads to, yeah, South African war beginning and probably their very soon to be destruction. Okay, so Norway has declared their independence from Germany. You are also fighting. It looks like Borman has a pretty big start. I mean, Borman was named successor. Um, by Hitler, so it makes sense that they would be given uh, some benefit there. Like, how many... How many troops are we short on this line? One, two, three, four. So we're, we're short at four. So if we deploy these six, we should be looking good. And the rifles we have... We still have an extra 4,900. So that's, that's a, more than enough. So I'm not worried about that. Especially once we integrate more of these other areas as well. We get even more manpower. And everybody's declaring war on South Africa. Goodbye, South Africa. It was nice knowing you, but you are 100% dead at this point. We're getting 0.5 per day, so it's going to take us 20 days in order for us to core here. And you have 2.62 million manpower, which I would say is a, like a decent amount. We don't want to scavenge for loot. We really don't want to prepare any of this stuff. I really just... And the African National Congress also could have warned everybody else as well. But I imagine the ANC has absolutely no chance of winning. Because they're, they're at war with literally everybody. It would be amazing if they would win. Like, I like it would be crazy. But it would be nice. You guys are training right now. I wonder if I should be training my troops, actually. Yeah, you know what? We should be exercising, I think. Getting our troops to where they need to be would be nice. And we're going to cast down the crown. We're not going to... I mean, when will you guys be ready to deploy? You're already at 11%. So I think I want to do one more focus before we decide to declare war on the People's uh, Revolutionary Council. So let's follow that up with maybe a bonus to land auction. Just slowly getting our way down towards the black units. Like one extra really good troop would be nice. The Trial of King Rurik. This right, Bruno is prepared. What are you, companion Nor uh, Nokale? Gasolov, in a rare moment of calm, said, The revolutionary turned king across the room, nodded, his head naked without his crown. 
You stand on your own defense, I presume. Another nod. Very well, companion Okale. Your case is unlike anything I've seen, but yet all too common. You climbed the ladder. You did in a decade what most men hope to achieve in their lifetimes. The pinnacle of your career in the unyielding tide of fascism lost over you and your regiments like a wave. You've seen brutality of the Fuhrer. You sat silently in the meetings of Bukharin and go to both. You've borne witness to it all, Nikoloi. You were a man fit for early retirement at the foot of a leader, but yet, despite it all, you're still you. Lustful for power, always scheming to knock the next piece off the board. You reach for the sun and get it, let it slip from your hands. Locklight's eye met with Glust Love. The things you accused me of are true. I picked up the crown in spite of my actions against the Tsar. I'm not power hungry, Mr. Glust Love. I'm hungry for change, just as my subjects. Russia is not capable of governing without a monarch. Look outside to see the results of the worker state. My offer to the people is what's simple, a strong culture and a free people. I do not consider that a crime. As always, you hide behind half-truths and doctor facts. We did not bring you here to remind you, reprimand you of your freedom, uh, comments has been of. Your lies can only go so far. Promise of reform can were made no more than wasted breath as you assured reactionary elements a strong kingdom will emerge. The monarchy is dead. The presidium is dead, Nikolai. You live in the authoritarian past, blinded by a free future. In a rare moment of solidarity, Spenov cast a knowing glance at Glasgow. Companion Nikolai, the tribunal finds you guilty in all charges. Gasolov, Spenov, and remaining members of the tribunal gathered their things. Nikolai fixed his eyes on the tile at his feast. Throughout it all, there had always been an escape, a man to bribe, a place to flee. But as he felt the grip of the officer on his shoulder, he knew his luck had run out. A fitting end for a king. Why am I losing political stability for that? I don't, I don't feel like I should be losing stability for that um, decision there. But so be it. But can I, can I just tell you how nice it is to actually have manpower? Our troops have enough uh, men to fully be stationed. I know even right now that they are um, 20 combat width. Or 10 combat width, I should say. They're not great. But it is what it is. You still cannot deploy. You're at 16%. Just deploy like right there, like right on the front line. Should be okay. And Poland has won their war against the general government. And of course, there are more wars, I think, going on around here. If you want to fight all amongst yourselves, that's completely fine. How many how many aircraft are we actually building? We're building right now about three a month, so about one a week, which isn't horrible. I mean, it's not great, but it's not horrible. We'll integrate you 84 days until you're finished, which will give us another large chunk of manpower. We have 133,000 total manpower. I mean, we did lose a lot in that war. I'll admit. We also like we lost entire like an entire division actually. Which is not great. And I think this is the Italians. They have launched their first satellite. Congratulations to them. So we'll deploy our troops. You will all station on your way onto the front line. And of course you will train as soon as you get there as well. Because you're green. But you don't need to be green forever. But now that we have number you guys 2 to 1. The front line is way too large for I think just 6 divisions to hold. So no matter what, we'll be able to break through this territory without too much of a trouble. And of course, what we're going to do, we're going to immediately do justice for Hilopol. And we'll declare war on you. It's going to make the AI put all their troops out towards the north, but that's okay. So you're negative five for authoritarian socialism. So we're going to lose about a thousand manpower, which is not great. Um, Secure Front 3 is actually another modifier for even less coring time. Manpower plus a thousand. Many of that's uh, liberation from people's Russia. Declared war. Do not care about that too, too much. But it doesn't matter which one we choose, right? Yeah, no. We just need one of them. The war support manpower for the common, for the common moron. We get 250 equipment. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll see what we get there. I have noticed that you haven't really put too many troops on the front line quite yet. Oh, I have not even been building anything. That's my fault. Build some... Do I want to build military factories? Naval dog here, of course, makes no sense. Anti-air makes no sense in our current situation. Yeah, no, I think we just... No, you want to build, I think, two synthetic refineries. So we'll get, we'll get two of you guys building, and then we'll build more military factories here afterwards. I think that seems like an okay choice. But we do need some rubber for our aircraft. You're trying to, trying to build planes with absolutely no rubber. Probably seems like a bad idea, if you ask me. You'll be run, done in 10 more days. Specialized unit rolls. I mean, you're all, you're all looking pretty okay. 
And it looks like uh, the ANC has lost. Not a big surprise, I would say. And Auslan has defeated somebody else. We'll be done in 60 days. Which should be enough time for us to win this war. How is... Because right now, we're doing um, local police force. We could do secret police. Like, how, what, what is your um, resistance target right now? It's at 18%, which actually is not so bad. And you're actually going to be core uh, very soon anyway, so... I'm not too concerned about all that. And more people are declaring war upon you, so you'll be fighting a uh, lovely two-front war. Uh, for now. And yes, our manpower is already low again, but that, I mean, I'm not surprised by that. The question is, who do I want to say core next? Because you are 4 and a 14,000. I mean, you, you're the next biggest province, so it makes perfect sense that you would be the next area that I want to core. Giving more and more manpower. And we shall attack. Move our troops into the territory. Oh yeah, but by the way, stop training. That, that, that seems like a good place to start. So we will march. Uh, march, march. One of you is going to go start making our way down towards the capital. You guys can move here. I mean, if they, like, how I want to fight this war is just occupy all the enemy forces. We can't do this quite yet, so of course we're going to go for specialized unit rolls. Keep getting our way down to whatever the Black Guard is. Actually, you go here, and then you go here. Yeah, because there's no way the AI, the AI can't defend every spot. There's not enough provinces in the map for them to do that. So you're going to move on to their capital. You haven't taken any of their territory quite yet, but that's no surprise. I'm even thinking, like, this area is actually not core of ours. So we probably don't actually want to defend it as much as everything else. You're going to keep marching your way. Go to here. It's going to be worth... I mean, every city, basically, in um, the New Order is worth the same amount of victory points. We'll get a surround on you. We'll get a surround on you, and then you're going to come down to here. Do an attack on you. Once you're surrounded, we'll do like a big offensive push. Because I don't know, are you gonna you are trying to leave. Will you leave before us though? You know, you'll be there in 10 days, which is definitely not enough time. Uh you are gonna go to Moron. You we should win all these uh, battles. Because you we, we know you have six. Right now we see four. So there's two more divisions somewhere else in the world. We don't know, I think, quite where they are yet. What if you make your way down to here? You go down to Moron. You're still going to Adelaide. You're surrounded. Okay, we do have okay, we have a single tank division on their way up. You're at 59. Because all the cities are worth the exact same amount. We're gonna take most of the country. I mean what what what's your surrender limit at right now? 35%? Okay, you will be killed basically very, very soon. But now that we see five divisions, we know basically where the entirety of this, how his army is. We've only lost 75 troops, which is really not a big deal. We're going to win this battle in just mere moments. And once we win this battle, everything else is really not a huge problem. Who is this? This is pretty much Supreme Soviet, which is you, right? No. No. It might be you. You might be claiming both to be the same position. I think you are. Yeah, you're both claiming to be the same people. So you know what? You can do whatever you want. This is going to take probably a little bit longer. So let's go for the Black Guard unit and see what he's offering. I'm going to go for even one more aircraft because we can afford it. We don't have enough um, rubber anyway, so it's not like that makes any big difference. You're going to come down to here. You're still making your way down south. Still don't have 25 political power in order to do the next invasion. Okay, so we now know where every single one of the enemy troops are. How do you guys go down to here? We, I don't know if we need every city. We'll probably need most. And our units are marching our way down. Our units just aren't very good. Terrain, weather, commander skill... Oh, yeah, no, I want to also switch you over to being the, uh, this general, please, who's got the best attack out of any of our soldiers. You're still going to go down to Moron, please, and thank you. 
Once you go here, you're gonna go also to uh, Dondas. Okay, you're down to 78%. Gonna fight you, just increase our combat width. You're gonna come down to here, just make sure this guy doesn't get surrounded. And it looks like the HMLR has been defeated by the government. No, you're both staying here for now. Go here and then to there so we can actually get a strangle on this dude. Yeah, you're coming to Adelaide right now. And I guess that's fine. We'll just have to fight for this province later on. Actually, yeah, if you go here, then you're going to march on to Adelaide. Because I think that's where the AI is going to be going next. I mean, how long, how long are you going to take to get there? 15 days? Okay, actually, it's, it's no problem. You'll be in Adelaide before anybody else gets there. It looks like we've killed that guy up towards the north, so we're at 1,000, 12,000. I would consider those to be pretty good uh, numbers for us. Do we have more? Do we have more planes? Close, early close air support. How do I change your size? I don't. Reorganize the airway, merge. Higher placement priority. Deselect. Like, how do I? I know how to do it in the base game. You're on no retreat. Can I not modify any of this stuff? Maybe I can't. Either way. I mean, how much is the air support even helping us? You know what? 4%? I mean, it's a 4% that we have that the AI doesn't, so I guess I'll take it. We're going to fight against you. We have lost 12,000 men. But that's, I think that's also... Yeah, it's also including the war against the other guys. Uh, which notably did not go as well. I think one more city should do it. Adelaide, they did. How did you really march? You actually marched Adelaide before we did? I'm very surprised by that. You're going to go down to here. I mean, you should still have the supplies that you need. So we got one of you. We've got anti-tank infantry equipment. We'll throw you into this army. I know you can't really do anything right now. But I think you're about to die. So I think I'm actually going to save my political power a little bit. We'll integrate you as well. Oh, there we go. We've actually just won the, the war immediately. So uh, then switch straight into uh, deep Bolshevites the Soviets. I'm not too sure who the next target will be. I think it's going to be the guy up to the north. Just because we need them to actually finish up all of our uh, decisions here. And by to finish up all our decisions, I do mean um, form this territory. Because Baka, Tomsk, I know Tomsk is somewhere over here. Is it? Is it? Okay. Another war on you. Postage. But I don't think that country exists anymore. And we clearly want Tomsk. So, Novorisk. Novorisk is. You. So yeah, these are the next two targets for the war. Of course, we don't have the manpower quite yet. We only have 45. Really? Only have 45? I'm not training any more units. Am I missing too many troops? We're 70 out of 70,000. Now you guys are all fighting amongst each other. We're going to lose 1,000 uh, manpower here, but that's kind of okay. So the question is, who do I attack? Do I attack you, 5 to 8, or 2 to 4? Probably push our way straight into Tomsk. How do you only have two to four divisions and you, you cannot win this war? That's what I'm confused about. Because you definitely outnumber him. So maybe I should actually kill Nova Serbrisk first. Okay, you're all declaring war on each other. I'm actually, I am going to pull you all onto this front. Mostly because I think I want to kill you first. If you are, one, stronger? Like, if Tom's has two divisions... Who cares, really, about that? I know that we've immediately gone down to... Is it is it because we're trying to occupy too much land? Probably. 2,000... 139,000 manpower from you. Because you should all... Are you not a core? No, you are a core state. Right, fantastic. 
I really thought I would have gotten more manpower, though, out of this. Because we have 263,000 total. Maybe it's they're slowly just going to kind of get be put in. There's a new president of France. United by the bitter defeat by the recent Burgundian invasion. Uh, we'll follow that up with securing the frontier. Get that going. Not that France really has any um, territory really whatsoever. No exemptions. Okay, fiddled with his thumbs. The whole situation went very awkward. When he had received news that Chris was falling into the anarchy, he had assumed there was more of an agitation between Mongolians and the Russians. It was all politics, which was never his forte. Okay, was content with a simple life. He, w he would wake up in the morning, head to the factory, and sip his coffee. He worked, of course, but preferred to leave the bulk of his job to his subordinates. When he assumed that to the bandits arrived at the factory, OK was sure that he would meet his end. Instead, the Black Army brought him into the center of Adelaide and organized an emergency trial for what they claimed was the administrator of oppression in Mongolia. Mr. OK, during your tenure as head of the arms factory, would you say that you manage your employee faithfully? He nodded. Then I would ask you just why you employ children in the hazardous environments. Ok, ok was terrified. His cheerful demeanor gone. He was well. He wanted to speak to his, in his defense, but he could not find the words. Luckily, he didn't have to. Ok, let me work with you when no one else would. Said a young voice from within the audience. I have to work for my family. The officer whispered. The officers whipped their heads to the crowd. Who said that? You boy. You are no more than ten. You should not reward the system that forces you into slavery. Granting clemency to this man only teaches the reactionaries they can get away with this. Ok, is no slaver. He got the council to get me enough food to survive the winter. Shared another voice from the spectators. That doesn't change. Okade was invaluable to this community. He's done too much good as Hossman's side for ideological views. The crowd roared appro um, in approval, demanding freedom. Some picked out stones and began to hurl them towards the officers. Fuck it. Just get me out. Just get him out of here. Ordered one of the officers to another. Letting one of them live isn't the end of the world. A rare mercy. <laughs> Fuck him. Just get him out of here. We do have bad dock here output. But that makes sense, seeing as we don't have a port. We have also free military factories. Let's go for one more. Do I have enough aluminum to get another plane? No. So we're not going to go for another plane then. We're going to go with probably just more rifles, I think, for right now. But for right now, I also think it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks very much for watching. My name is Anthony If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. Now, do you want to down? You want to see me subscribe? And goodbye.